new video and now I am going to show you the basic operation of immuno acidilizer. Today I am with Autobio company and this model name is Autolumo 1000. So this is immuno acidilizer and in today I will show you how to run the calibration, how to do the QC and how to perform the patient samples as well as I will also show you a little bit about the basic maintenance how to do the basic maintenance of this machine let's open this software now software is communicating with the analyzer so here you go so whenever software will start so its first status will be not ready to make it on ready mode we have to click on the maintenance and then reset system and after that reinitialization so now it will uh, home its all positions and then the status will be in ready mode now system is in ready mode now i'm going to explain you all these options so let's start from the first which is exception and another thing is that if you click on the next option which is work pending so over there you will also find the same option you can see that exceptions also here so first is requested risk requested next is under testing then exception work pending and the daily one so let's come to the next which is reagent so here you can see that which reagents are uh, on board which is already loaded there so here it will also show you the remaining number of tests and also the on board stability of the reagents okay so let's come to the next which is bulk in bulk you can check the diluent system wash substrate wash buffer purified water waste and the rvs okay next is qc quality control this one i will explain you later on and the last one is the system log so here you will find all the logs so let's come back from the first which is diagnostic so now i'm going to click on diagnostic so here you can uh, check that pushing out rack push racks all these options are available this is only for the engineering purpose and next one is system configuration so here you will find the software report setting les connection warning hardware and controller next this one is maintenance in the maintenance option you can find instant backup daily maintenance sensor list recovery fan speed daily clean data clean all these options are here in this option shutdown also here this is a reset is also here okay for example if i click on the sensor list so here it will show you all the movement of the sensor this is for the unit adjustment if you want to change the units you can change from here now come to the last option which is test request so in test request you will find all the option uh, as i told you that i will explain you quality control and calibrator later on so now I'm going to explain if I'll click on quality control. So here it is showing you these four parameters. If you want to review the chart, just click on review chart and you can see the chart is here. This is your LJ chart. And same as if you want to, for example, if you want to add the QC. So also just click on QC setting and you can click on add QC. And if you want to do the edit, you can click on edit option. So from here you can feed the new values. Same as uh, like QC, if you click on the calibrator setup. So first, let me show you the calibration. Let me click on hepatitis B. So let me show you the data review. So here is the graph, calibration graph, calibration curve. And same way, if you want to add the calibrator values, so go to the calibrator setup. And here, for example, like add calibrator. If you want to uh, add it some calibrator values, you can do from there. And this one is consumables, same which I already show you on the top in the bulk, this is the same thing. 
Next is Regent. It will show you the regions, like how many number of tests are remaining and its stability when it was open. And this one is uh, test, I, test parameters. So it will show you the programming of the test. So, and this one is test panel. If you want to make a profile by yourself, uh, so you can make profile as per your choice. Now let me show you how to run the quality control. So click on QC request and here use the barcode reader and scan your rack. So I am just going to type it for example CJ and any wording and then select the test, enter the sample ID which is basically QC ID. Then click on the parameter and click on the reagent. Then position number 2, again you can select any, uh, any test, any QC and then type the QC ID and same way click on the reagent. Like clicking here and it's done now. Same as for the third position, select for example, I want to run the NTTP, I'll enter any ID, click on the region and same as for the next position. So this is the way how to run the quality control. And finally, click on the play button to start running the QC like this. Now if you want to delete, click on delete rack, click OK and then again OK. So in this way you can delete the rack if you don't want to run. Same way I will show you how to run the calibration control, uh, enter the scan the rack and select the test which you want to do the calibration. Now finally how to run the sample, click on sample request. And by using a barcode reader, click on the uh, scan the your rack. And uh, I'm just typing it now. And enter your sample ID. Uh, I can write my name or I can just enter one. And here pinch a patient ID if you have. And then select the test. Hepatitis B, NDTP, HIV, HCV. And if you want to select the profile, you can also directly click on the profile. So it will select automatically all the parameters and then play. This is the way how to run it. Now if I click on request, so here it will show us which tests are requested, which tests are pending, which is in a daily. So everything will show you here. Same like work pending. From here test results, you can search the test like all samples or those tests which were performed within the last 30 days etc. It's up to you. That's all for today. And if you like our today's video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And I will wait for your messages. If you want to ask any question, please don't hesitate to ask me any question.